Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. In this video you will have a chance to look through all the new products that have been released by my favorite things for April, including stamps, dies and stencils, and as I'm browsing them through I am going to show you some examples. But you will also find a video where I'm making 8 different cards using these products to inspire you. So let's start with the first stamp for today, this is the Bold Blossoms. As you can see this is a layering stamp where you stamp one on top of the other to create your flowers. But uh, really you can mix and match everything and you, can, you don't really need to follow the guidelines. And there are also matching dies available. And here is a sneak peek on what I did using this stamp set. So let's move on to the next one, this is an adorable one. This is called Rain or Shine and you get this lovely girl with her umbrella playing with uh, water. You get uh, those uh, little uh, birdies, a sun, clouds to create your little scenes and great sentiments such as I'm here for, for you. There is always room for you under my umbrella and many more. And as always there are matching dyes. Now if you want a boy version there is one. So here is the little guy with his umbrella and if you take a close up look you will see that they are exactly the same proportions so you can use them both on the same card if you like. This is called Puddle Jumper and there is also a matching die. And here is a look on the card that I made using this stamp set. And let's move on to a stamp set which is called All About Mum. As you can see you get these big bold words of mum in capital and lowercase and you can mix and match it with tons of sentiments underneath. There is also an available die that is meant to cut out the words instead of uh, stamping them so you can uh, mix and match them. Now in this release our adorable little girl is back and this time she has a piñata. This is the birthday piñata stamp set and the matching ties. As you can see you get a piñata and uh, the little girl is blindfolded with a stick. And uh, there are many other uh, products in uh, this theme as well. So this is uh, a piñata maker as I call it. So you get uh, the shape of the animal. I think this is a donkey. Is it a donkey? Anyway, along with many pieces that you can uh, stick one on top of the other. There is also the word fiesta that you can use to cut out as a sentiment. And if you combine these products together, they make really fun cards. Now the graduation season is uh, very close, so here is a stamp set perfect for that. It says congrats graduate in a lovely big font along with five stars that you can combine. And there is also a tie that you can mix and match that says congrats. And staying in the same theme there is another mini stamp that is called uh, Tassel Time. It says the tassel was worth the hustle and you get a hat along with three stars in this uh, mini stamp set as well. And now let's take a look at the creature stamp sets for this month. This is called Totally Awesome and it gives you these uh, three frogs in different positions that you can use along with many sentiments that are really fun such as Kiss Me for example or I'm so happy for you. There are also matching dies and I like that in the dies you also get a lily pad which is a great addition especially if you like creating little scenes. And another stamp set with critters, this is uh, packed with uh, adorable birdies, it's called a tweet hello. It gives you lot of, lots of birds and um, whimsical designs such as flowers and butterflies and lovely sentiments. This is a great uh, stamp set for friendship cards and birthday cards. There are also matching dies. And here are two smaller uh, stamp sets that have been released. The first one is called Aim for the Clouds and it gives you lovely sentiments that have to do with weather. While the second one is the Birdie Brown alphabet and numbers. And what I like about them is that they are actually square or rectangle, flat at the bottom. So you can uh, nicely nest them one next to the other and you will be sure that everything is going to be straight. So they make your life easier. Now along with this stamp set that is called Aim for the Clouds that has uh, lots of um, weather sentiments. I don't know if you can read them on your screen right now. There is a lovely cloud die and frame that you can use to create shaker cards. And of course they have released uh, pouches, plastic pouches that um, fit nicely inside those clouds. 
I like shaker cards <laughs> and I cannot lie. So I always uh, get excited when I see new shapes. And here's another critter stamp set. This is called Two Cute Turtles. And I think they are just that. You get two turtles in different designs. And I like that the one at the bottom has this uh, shell that looks like a rainbow. So many coloring options there. I did create eight cards using these products, but I didn't have a chance to play with this stamp set yet. So I don't have uh, an example to show you now. So let's move on to the stencils. I don't know if you can see this stencil, but it is actually full of raindrops which I think is great for this release, especially since you get those uh, cloud uh, shaker products. Now, this is an envelope template. It is called Stencil Envelope Body, and you can use the space in between to uh, write down your address. And now let's take a look at some dies that have been released for this month. So this is the bird path. It gives you the main shape along with smaller uh, pieces that you can uh, stick on top to add dimension. And it is great to go with uh, this stamp set with the birdies. Here's another die. This is the shooting star. And I think this is quite versatile. You can use it for birthdays, for congratulation cards, for uh, graduate cards. And this is the garden gate. And if you take a close up look, you will see that this design with a heart on the top of the gate is the exact same design as uh, one in the tweet hello stamp set, the one with the birdies. So you can match them together if you like. And here is a die to create dimensional flowers. This is called Loopy Bloom. And uh, you cut out a thin strip of paper or of cardstock or even felt to create a really dimensional flower. You will find that you get a totally different look if you use paper or if you use the felt. Now, all you do is to cut it out, fold it in half and then uh, wrap around it. Now let's take a look at two cover dies that have been released. This is the cross stitch rectangle. And uh, of course it's going to do exactly that. It's going to cut out a panel which uh, can provide a template for you to um, cross stitch any design that you like. Now um, it is going to cover up uh, the card front and leave a nice border around it. As you can see here, this is a standard card. And this is the horizontal collage, which gives you lots of little windows, along with a bigger one at the center. I think this would be a great fit for a sentiment at the center. And you can see that this die also leaves a nice border around it. So these were the products released by my favorite things for the month of April. You will also find that they have also released tons of uh, great quality felt in beautiful colors. You will find all the links that you need down below if you want to check out the product. And don't forget that there is another video where I am creating actually eight cards using most of these products. You can find the link here. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.